Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to the video you've been waiting for on the channel, Gaming on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, if you join us for the very first time, hit that subscribe button and notification icon so you can watch more videos like this. The S23 Ultra is here. This is of course Samsung's biggest flagship device and it is powered by a brand new processor. Now, of course, we care about gaming on this channel. We also care about the fact that we're gonna be having a Snapdragon processor on every single Galaxy S23 device across the planet this year. And not just the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, Gen 2, which is a really good chip and we've seen in other devices. This is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. So, specially tuned for Galaxy devices for better performance, better gaming, and that's what we're here to check out with that faster clock speed and all that, you know, all that fun stuff in there. So, before we even get into that, let's look at the hardware. We've got a 6.8 inch device with a lovely display. I just took it out of my backbone case. Uh, that display goes up to uh, 1,750 nits. Really nice, bright display. Now, the side panels of the device uh, is more of a flat trim instead of that more curved uh, feel, which I think is really important when you're gaming. And you might think, why, why does that care? Well, because it feels more comfortable in the hands, less of that curve. So I definitely like that. Now you're getting 256 gigabytes of storage. You can put a lot of your games in there. And of course you start with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is enough, but you can go up to 12 on this bad boy. 5,000 milliamp battery and let's look at the very first thing, which is most important for all of us here, which is of course, benchmarks because this has that brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. And the benchmark scores here from Geekbench uh, for the CPU single score, it is 1,527, while the multi-core is 4,835. That's one of the higher single cores I've seen for Snapdragon device. Multi-core, not as high, maybe it's because of course, the way the chipset is set up with this specialized version here, but still some really impressive scores. Now, I also wanna look at the compute scores because there are some really interesting numbers here. Vulcan, I got 10,348. So it's actually pretty solid overall. Now, you're thinking, look, okay, Thunder E, it's got some really great benchmarks. What about the games? As you know, we start off with our very first game, which is Call of Duty Mobile. And the reason we play Call of Duty Mobile is because it runs really well on a lot of devices and it runs well here on the Galaxy uh, S23 Ultra. We're getting 89 frames per second, playing at the highest frame rate settings on the game. Runs really smooth, no issues. And also in terms of temperatures, it actually stays pretty nice and cool. So. Very solid there. Then we move over to Apex Legends. Now, Apex Legends here, we can, we're playing at Ultra HD Ultra, and we're getting a solid 60 frames per second, ran smooth, played for about 30 minutes of gameplay, and it was just solid. Now, moving into the other two games where we push the performance level a little higher, and that, of course, is PUBG Mobile. Of course, we start off with a Smooth Extreme, where we're getting a solid 60 frames per second, and that is to be expected. And then we move over to Ultra HD Ultra, where, again, we are getting that solid 40 frames per second, which is standard, and you're thinking, okay, is it still the same thing? So I decided to try Ultra HD Extreme, which I've done on my Galaxy S22 Ultra before, and I was not getting really good frame rates, around 35, maybe getting close to 40. With the Galaxy S23 Ultra and that Snapdragon chipset, you're getting 60 frames per second on Ultra HD Extreme. Again, Ultra HD Extreme, so this is really nice to see that you can push the benchmarks up and you're getting better performance. So I really, really like that with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now let's move over to the big bad boy, Genshin Impact. As you know, Genshin is that game that, look, it tasks a lot of system, and we've seen the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 really perform well. So how does the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy perform in this situation? So we played for 30 minutes, and it ran really well. Very smooth, no slowdown whatsoever. 
what we got with our final frame rates was 55 frames per second. Yes, you're thinking, well, it's not 60. That is very true. The other devices that have done 60, which we've actually covered on this channel, but it did 55. And I think maybe just because one of the clocks is higher, I'm not exactly sure. And again, this is also my first test, so we'll, we'll definitely check out more. But I will tell you that it didn't feel like it dipped at any point in time and it only dropped down to 55 frames per second after roughly 25 minutes. So 25 minute mark, it started going down slowly at around the 35 minute mark, I was at about 55 frames per second. So there you have it there with Genshin, still can play that game really well and very solid. So playing a game like Genshin and playing games like PUBG Mobile, you're gonna see temperatures really rise up, especially when you crank it up to the highest settings. And this is where the temperatures did go up on the Galaxy S23 uh, Ultra. When playing PUBG at Ultra HD Ultra and playing for about 10 minutes multiplayer gameplay, I was getting temperatures closer to around 104 degrees. Uh, and when playing Genshin Impact and getting up to around the 15 minute mark, it got to about 105 degrees and then getting closer to that 25 minute mark, it got to 107. And after the 25 minute mark, it stayed at 107 all the way through to around the 35 minute mark. So those are the temperatures you're getting with it uh, in that regard. Now, Samsung hasn't really talked about any new improved temperature uh, cooling systems, even though I know they do have it, but those are the temperatures I was getting on my first gameplay session. Now, as you guys know, I just got the device, so I'll be doing, of course, my long-term gaming review to actually see how that performs over time. When it comes to, of course, game streaming services like Xbox Game Pass, works really well. And of course, that's where I'm using my Backbone controller, which works seamlessly, as well as also the Razer Kishi V2. No issues there, fits the device well without any adjustments needed uh, whatsoever. Now, some of you are gonna be asking me, Thunder E, what about battery life? Well, this is something that I can't give you a full reading because I've only had the device at this point for roughly a day and a half when this video post is pretty much two days. So you're not gonna be getting a good battery life judgment, but I can tell you for roughly around an hour of gameplay, I was getting about 15% battery loss. So that actually is pretty good in terms of gameplay session. Now this is a mixture of course, lighted games like Call of Duty Mobile and Apex, some PUBG Mobile, and then of course, uh, some Genshin Impact. So, so far, battery has been good. So what does that mean for the Galaxy S23 Ultra as a gaming device? First of all, before I even round that up, just listen to the audio of gameplay for a second. First point for the red team. Now, when you put that in mind with the audio and the mix, this is a very, very solid gaming device. A couple of things come into mind because number one, it can actually handle the games pretty well. You see how I handle with Genshin, all the way down to of course Call of Duty Mobile and your game streaming services. Yes, it handles emulator as well. I just didn't have enough time to showcase it here. I will showcase it on Board Gamer. So take a look at, at it there. As well as also the really good speakers we have this time with Dolby uh, Atmos for gaming. Really gives much more supreme feel. 120 hertz on the display, as well as also uh, just the vibrancy you're getting uh, in total. So you're getting a full-fledged gaming experience. And there I say this might set that template for the best gaming phone of the year. Just putting it out there. Now, let me know your thoughts, guys. You've seen uh, the numbers, you've seen the benchmarks, you've seen the gameplay. Leave your thoughts down below. And if you're thinking of picking up the Galaxy S23 Ultra or any of the Galaxy S23 devices, definitely use our link below. You can get a $150 credit uh, to your pre-order for the purchase of the device. So go ahead, use that link and start gaming, guys. So Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.